Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, in this lesson we're going to be speaking about at tawkid So at tawkid is one of the different types of tawabi' and it's tabi'un al-mu'akkadi. It's a follower to the thing that's being emphasized, the thing that is emphasizing, and mu'akkad is the thing that's being emphasized. Yudhkaru li taqwiyati wa ta'kid al-hukmi. And it's mentioned, the tawkid to strengthen uh, the meaning of this thing that's being emphasized and to emphasize its ruling. So again, Jamu Zaydun Nafsuhu, Ja'a Zaydun Nafsuhu, Zaydun came, Nafsuhu, him specifically. So Nafsu is a tabi', it's the tawkid, and it's coming to emphasize the mu'akkad, the thing that's being emphasized, which is Zayd. It's coming to emphasize who is the one who came, Zayd, Nafsuhu, him specifically, his, himself, yani, subhanahu <clears throat> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, in this lesson, we're going to speak about a tawkid. A tawqid is a tabi', so it's a word that does not have its own arab. It's the one that, it's the noun that is tabi', that's following, if you will, and mu'akkad, the thing that's being emphasized. And mu'akkad is the thing that's being emphasized, and the thing that it is emphasizing itself, the tawqid. And the tawqid is mentioned, wa hukmihi, to strengthen the meaning of the word and to emphasize its ruling. So that's what the tawqid does. It comes, and it emphasizes, and it strengthens the meaning of a word that comes before it. So when I say Ja Zaydun Nafsuhu, that means Zaydun came Nafsuhu him specifically, himself, not anybody else, but Nafsuhu him specifically. So Nafsu is a toki and it's coming to emphasize the mu'akkad, the thing that's being emphasized, which is Zaydun. And because Zaydun is Marfu', Nafsu is going to be Marfu' also. And if Zaydun was Mansub, it will be Nafsa. And if Zayd was also uh, Majrurun, it will be Nafsi. Now, there are four types of toki. There are four types of toki. There is a tawqid that yu'akkidu bi'an wahidu wa muthanna wa jama'. There's one type of tawqid which is used to emphasize what is singular, the wahid, what is muthanna, what is a dual, and what is a jama' or what is plural. So these types of tawqid can be used to emphasize something regardless of how many things that is. So I can say, for example, ja'a zaydun nafsuhu, ja'a zaydun aynuhu. Both of these means him specifically, singular. That's the wahid, yani, one thing. I can emphasize one thing with the word nafs, and I can also emphasize one thing with the word ayn. And both of them will be roughly translated as himself or itself. It can also be used to um, to emphasize the muthanna, the dua. So if I was speaking about a zaydani, the two zayds, or a zaydani, the two zayds, I said, ja zaydani and fusuhuma. The two zayds came and fusuhuma themselves. And fusuhuma or aynuhuma themselves themselves or a'yunuhuma themselves and then there's also i could say for example ja'a uh, muhammadun anfusuhum the muhammads came and fushum them themselves or ja'a muhammadun a'yunuhum ja the, the muhammads came a'yunuhum them specifically okay so the word a'in and the word nafs are two types of tawqid and they can be used to emphasize what's singular what is dual and what is plural Okay, that's one type of tawqid. The second type of tawqid is The second type of tawqid is kullu. But kullu is only used to emphasize what can be multiple parts, what can be broken down to multiple parts. So you only use kullu, everything, all of it, to emphasize something that has multiple parts or can be broken down. So you can say, for example, I memorize the Quran, kullahu, all of it. So Kulla is coming to emphasize that you memorize the entirety of the Quran, not just one juz or two juz or whatever the case may be. So I couldn't use Kul, for example, to emphasize Zayd, because Zayd is a human being. You can't break apart a human being. So I can't say, Ja'a Zaydun Kulluhu. Zaydun came all of him. That doesn't make any sense. I would have to use Nafs or Ayn, right? So Kullu is used to emphasize things that can be broken into multiple parts. Then there's also, Ma Yu'akkadu Biha and Muthanna Khasatan. There's also what is used to emphasize specifically the dual noun. What is used to emphasize specifically the dua noun. For the masculine, it's kira. Kira. So I'll say, for example, ja'a muhammadani kirahuma. The two Muhammads came, kirahuma, both of them. So it's coming to emphasize, for, to, to add emphasis. Same thing, uh, the feminine version of kira is kilita. So I'll say, for example, ja'a uh, aishatani kiltahuma. The two aishas came, kiltahuma, both of them. So same principle as anfusuma and a'yunuhuma. Then there's There's what you use to specify and to emphasize what is plural specifically, which is ajma'. 
and it's pro form which is ajma'un which comes along with Quran kulluhum ajma'un so all the malaikas all of them they prostrated ajma'un so there's two there's two emphasis in that one verse kulluhum that's the first one ajma'un that's the second one okay and we're using kullu because malaikas are plural so there can be some malaikas that weren't prostrating so they can be broken down to different parts but here Allah saying that all of them in their entirety all of the different angels they all prostrated uh, and now ajma or ajma'un both are the same ajma'un just is plural form it can be also followed with these three other nouns for extra emphasis so akla and abta'u and abs and absa'u, which are very rarely used, can be used as extra emphasis after ajma'. So I'll say, for example, ja'a ja muslimu Mecca, the Muslims of Mecca came, ajma'uhum or ajma'un, all of them, akla'uhum. And I'll mention again, akla'uhum for extra emphasis or abta'uhum for extra emphasis or absa'uhum for extra emphasis. So akla'un, abta'un, absaru can only be mentioned after ajma' for even more emphasis. So Jah Muslim Makata Ajma'uhum Akla'uhum or Ajma'uhum Abta'uhum or Ajma'uhum Abasa'uhum. Well again, these are very rarely used. So these are the four different types of tawqid that are used based or depending on these different things that I mentioned. So and ain and nafs can be used to mention what's singular and what's plural, what's dual and what's plural. Kullu is used for things that can be broken down to different parts. And then for things that are dual specifically, you can use kina for the masculine, kirta for the feminine. And then for things that are plural, you can use ajma and its plural form, which is asma'un. And then it can be followed with akla'un or abta'un or abta'un. Now, the arkan, the different pillars of the tawqid are three. The different pillars of the tawqid are three. There's always going to be a mu'akkad, something that's being emphasized here at Zaid. What's being emphasized here? It's Zaid. Jan Zaidun Nafsuhu, him specifically. So Zaid is the thing that's being emphasized, the Mu'akkad. Then there's going to be the, the Tawqid itself, the Tabi'ah itself, which is Nafsu here. And then the Tawqid is also, is always, usually, is always, usually going to be attached to a pronoun. There's also usually going to be a pronoun that's going to be going back and referring back to the Mu'akkad. That's going to be going back and referring back to the Mu'akkad. Usually that's going to be the case. So you saw it here, for example. So because we're talking about two people, we use anfusu uhuma. Because we're talking about a plural, we, talk, we, we use hum. Because the Quran is one thing, we say who. Because we're talking about two things here, we say huma and huma here also. So that's what's meant here by the third pillar, which is the Damir, that's going to be going back to the Mu'akkad and is going to be in, you know, in corresponding whether it's plural or dual or uh, singular.